that you're, um, you're, you're facing your own sort of plight here in terms of the actual amount of money that you're having to charge people. But council tax going up on the front page of the Times this morning, uh, over, over £2,000 for an awful lot of people. Uh, rate rise for the 11th time. I mean, it really is quite an extraordinary amount of money that people are being asked to pay for their council tax. A lot of people say to me that the services they get are actually decreasing rather than increasing. I mean, the, the, the challenge of council tax and the challenge of council finances is it's the cost of adult social care that we're having to deal with. Yeah. It's a really big problem. And I think, you know, the government tried to address it and then it got um, sidetracked by doing it. I think it really needs a, a national solution. At the moment, the burden of adult social care is predominantly falling on council taxpayers through the council tax. And I think we need to look at that system and look at how it works. Mm. Otherwise, what you'll find is more and more of the council money just goes on that one area. And that means the council tax goes up. And also you're, you're less able to spend money on the other areas that the council is expected to, to deliver. Yeah, I mean, that is the problem, isn't it? And I've just got a note here from um, uh, Mal Malcolm up in Morpeth. He says there's been a ULES in Newcastle since the end of January, which I wasn't aware of. So it is absolutely creeping into all parts of the country, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, these things are, are part of a, a plan to try and stop people using cars. You know, there's low traffic neighbourhoods, there's uh, entire sections of roads being taken over by cycle lanes, and then there's there's ULES. And, you know, this is some inner London mayor deciding that outer London is the same as inner London. The fact is you can probably manage much more easily in inner London than outer London mm. without a car. You know, the car ownership is much lower in inner London. As when you move to outer London, it goes up to about 70, 80 percent, whereas right. it's below 50 percent in some inner London areas. I just think, you know, there is a, a war against the motorists, like you said in your introduction. Um, that in the planning system, they're trying to make sure there's not enough parking spaces for people when they build new houses to try and stop people having cars. Yeah. And it just doesn't understand the reality of life for many people who have to get their kids to school who have to get to work in different places where maybe public transport isn't as much of an option uh, and it just has to stop it really must it is incredible uh, that the war on motorists is going seemingly sort of unchecked but uh, paul thanks very much indeed